What's going on guys? Welcome or welcome back to Dan Reacts. I'm Dan. This is my reaction channel. I am joined by the, I think it's one and only fabulous, amazing Addy. But I didn't add another one. One and only fabulous, amazing, patient Addy. Patient? Patient because you know what? To go through this process, you have to be a patient person. And you have to be somebody who's willing to like... Mm -hmm. just sit here and really go through it. Right. So, and dealing with you is like... And dealing with me is a high... Patience. High level energy thing. So yep. yeah. You need patience. <laughs> You're not kidding. Well, <laughs> well, thanks. She went um, to the bathroom and then when she came out, she was like kind of walking towards the couch and I was like, oh, we're doing one more. Like, yeah, he's like, don't sit. I'm like... Don't, <laughs> don't sit because I know it'll be can. eons before I can get you back up. Your couch is really comfortable. Like, I honestly, like, you put, you you coat it in blankets and pillows, and then you're like, why do you want to take a nap? <laughs> <laughs> this is probably a smart move. I mean, you just, like, she'll do this thing where she's like, I'm going to take a 40-minute nap, and then it's, like, two hours later. I tried. <laughs> I set an alarm. It's just when I get sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, I'm going to let her sleep. I'm going to let her sleep. Mm-hmm. It's a good decision. You can't you can't wake me up anyways. Well, and I, I, I periodically wake you up. So I'll, like, wake you up, go do something, come back, like, 10 minutes later, I'll wake you up, go do something. And it's, like, a it's like a 35-minute process of just, awake. like, continuously. And every time I would wake you up, you'd be like, I'm awake. And you would, like, tell me that. Immediately. And then you would, like, immediately fall asleep. So I'd yeah. just, like, come back in five minutes, do My it again. My mom could talk about this with you for hours. Really? Yeah, she used to get me up for school in the morning, oh, true, and she'd true. be like, Addie, you have an hour till school. Addie, you have 50 minutes till school. <laughs> Addie, you have 40 minutes. Like, she, God bless her. And then, like, when would you usually get up? The 30-minute mark? Was that when you were like, fuck, I'm... I, no. Like, by the time I was a senior, because I had dance first period anyways, I got up, like, 10 minutes before I had to leave for school, and then I just got ready at school. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it wasn't worth it to, like, put on all my makeup and then go sweat. Go sweat, yeah. yeah. True, 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 true. All right. We are here. Season three, episode four. Yeah. I'm super excited to get into this. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts so far on this season? You're enjoying it? We're I'm loving it. it. Yeah. yeah, it's super, like I said kind of in the last one, like, super action-packed. Mm -hmm. They're not leaving anything on the table. They're kind of giving everybody a run for their money right now. Mm -hmm. Um haven't seen Joffrey. We haven't seen Joffrey in like like uh, it, it's funny because it's only been one episode, but, but it seems like a long so time. much happens in every episode that you're just yeah. like, he hasn't been here for weeks, but it's Forever. been one hour. Yeah. Um, I miss Marjorie too. I feel like I just I'm so impressed with her, so I'm hoping this episode has more Marjorie in it. I like her a yeah. lot. I'm like, I stand. I like Marjorie too. Yeah. Um, I want to know your thoughts on Podrick. Not having to pay for his whores. <laughs> I, I mean, good for him, I guess. He, I love how they're just like, we need details. You're going in there with three girls. Like, you expect, like, oh, that's going to be done in, like, about 45 seconds. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like, there's nothing special that's going to happen there. So. And especially in that time him. period. Somebody actually called me out in the comments. They're like, I love how people say, like, that time period, even it's though it's a made-up time, time period. period. But, like, in that time period in this show, like money was how most people survived and so like the idea that these whores just didn't we're take like, their pay good. yeah it's like wow okay he must have been really really good good for him <laughs> i don't know <laughs> maybe um maybe he like didn't fuck them and he sat and like talked to them and listened that's to like them a theory talk about their feelings that's a theory is that he just sat and like opened up and gave them like really good to stories me, i'm like putting myself in their position you know like if it was my job to have sex for money there would be no nobody that would be good enough that I would be like no thanks the only thing that would make me be like you don't have to pay would be if we didn't, we didn't have, have sex. sex yeah yeah so I feel like maybe he just sat and kind of chatted with them and I don't but know but they did say what did you do and he said lots of things right but that doesn't like that doesn't necessarily mean he's not gonna probably go into a room of men and be like yeah, I didn't have sex. True, you know what true, I mean? True, like, yeah. so I don't know. Good for you. Whatever he did, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy for him. I I also really we didn't really talk about it in the last episode, but I I hate that scene with Catelyn. You kind of touched on it. Like, she's really going through it right now, mm -hmm. and it's such a sad scene to see her just like 
she she's Y'all missing her daughters. She's missing her sons. Her only son that she's with is like treating her really putting poorly her in right jail, now. You yeah, know? like just kind and of being a little harsh. She still has to like stay strong for him, and she mm-hmm. knows that. And she's just yeah, she's in a position where she's got nobody, and she has to like unconditionally love her son because she knows that it's like for the best that mm-hmm. he wins the war. And Even though he's kind of like. He's, like, you know, not treating her well, but that's what mothers do, you know? Yeah. You throw your mom in jail, and she she still shuts makes her mouth your bed, about yeah. it and, and takes it and loves you through it. We don't know? deserve mothers. We don't. We don't. Not at all. God bless them. God bless them. And then one last thing that we didn't really talk about. What are your thoughts on, like, Mance Raider kind of sending those wildlings to go climb the wall and, like, he's proposing yeah. that he's going to start this big war with the North, and they're all going to storm the wall. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I was going to say, like, he doesn't have that many men, but um, I, I don't know. I'm, like, so curious. I don't... It's definitely going to come to a head for Jon Snow. He's going to see his friends again. So I'm kind of like... Do I choose... Is he a spy? Mm-hmm. Or is he not a spy? And I have a feeling he is a spy, but... I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? We'll have to see how it plays we'll out. We'll have to see. All right. Well, let's not waste. Oh, my God. Oh, turn how that bitch embarrassing. off. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, it's off. All right. Well, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. Game of Thrones, season three, episode four. Oh, that's his hand. That's his hand. There it is. Oh, around his neck. God. He's going to fall. He's going to fall off his horse. Someone help him. These men are not playing around. Yeah. I can't say that I've ever seen a man drink horse piss that fast. I knew that was piss. Why did I know that? That was my first thought. Okay, Varys, get revenge. It's the first time I've seen Varys be violent, like, directly. Yeah. But I, like, support it, you know? Oh, I mean, if you lost your parts, would you not hunt down the man once you I got mean, the that influence? that would be difficult. It's nothing to cut off, really. <laughs> you could lose your boobs. This guy. You woke him. Sorry. Sam. I want to save my baby's life. Can you do that? Can you? She is a fighter. She was just up and walking around after giving birth, like just bare. I know, no and like no meds, medication, no yeah. Nothing. 
Like she is split open right now and she's just like standing. <laughs> what did he do to them? I don't know, my lord. The girls are usually quite descriptive. They said it was hard to describe. <laughs> like what did he do? He hasn't spoken to her since the last time, as far as I know. But I don't think he's lost interest. His shipboard inventory. Inventory. I've never heard it pronounced that way. He's bringing two feather beds for the cabin. Who is important enough to Littlefinger to merit a feather bed besides Littlefinger? Rhaenyra Targaryen was murdered by her brother, or rather, his dragon. It ate her. <laughs> what are we? What are we giddy about this? What a first date. Would you like to see where the last Targaryens are buried? Are you sure Lady Marjorie doesn't find all this a bit macabre? And it was quite a right, Your Grace. Joffrey is gonna Let's fall in love. Joffrey better be careful. Oh, she's she's gonna win this. Like ultimately. We mothers do what we can to keep our sons from the grave. They do seem to yearn for it. And yet the world belongs to them. A ridiculous arrangement in my mind. Right, seriously. Shall we go and see them? If you give them your love, they will return it a thousandfold. Open the doors. He is going to be so in love with her. She is giving him everything he wants. She's working him. She changed them from throwing shit at him in the streets mm -hmm. to like adoring fans. And it's not for him. It's for her. It's for it, her. But he only gets it because of her. And so he's going to be like, ah, oh, Marjorie. I was just thinking how jealous I was when my father told Yara to take this place. What did he tell you to do? <laughs> Raid fishing villages. My father gave me a choice. And I made it. I could never be a star. I murdered those boys. The star boys. Nope. Some poor orphans living with a farmer. So I could keep Winterfell. And make my father proud. Maybe it's not too late. It is. My real father lost his head at King's Landing. He made a choice. Mm. And chose wrong. Yara. Shh. Wait. He killed the others. What? No, I didn't. You can't. So that guy's just been toying with him this entire fucking time. <laughs> oh. What are you doing? Don't die. Can't die. You can't. Your misfortune, you're giving up. You have a taste. But the taste is a real world. I know what you did for me. You told them Tarth was full of sapphires. It's called the Sapphire Isle because of the blue of its water. Why did you help me? That's a risky move. Because what if the guy knew that it was called that? Right. You've taken an interest in Sansa Stark. Have I? Because I spoke to her once in this garden and one of your little spies came running to tell you. I thought we shared certain hopes for her well-being. Come, come. You surrender rather easily. She's so fun. Her and Marjorie. So fun. They're very equipped for this place. They are made for this place. You're not the only one who has taken an interest in her. That's hardly surprising. She's a beautiful girl with a famous name. A confidant of mine has told me that when he goes, the Sansa Stark goes with him. Why have you come to me with this matter? Littlefinger is one of the most dangerous men in Westeros. You must despise him. You're working so hard to undermine him. Actually, I rather enjoy him. 
I believe I have a possible solution. One doesn't need to be clever for that. It's all rather obvious, isn't it? <clears throat> what did you pray for? I can't tell you. Why not? I'll tell you what I prayed for in the set this morning. I want us to be friends. Good friends. That would make me very happy. You must see High Garden. You'd love it there. I know you would. I don't think the Queen would let me leave King's Landing. The Queen Regent, you mean? Once I marry Joffrey, I'll be Queen. And if you were to marry Loras... Oh, your place would be at Hyde Garden, wouldn't it? We would be sisters, you and I. Would you like that? Sansa is just like, oh She's my like, god! She's gonna save me! <laughs> Someone is here for me! She's gonna let me leave! <laughs> to be fair, the Hound was there for you, he's just scary. He's not beautiful and manipulative. Yeah. <laughs> you have won some. Don't you, Mormon? I had my 99. You have no sons. You killed them all. It's cold outside. And there's nothing to eat. My wives give you bread. The sawdust in the bread. I'd rather eat what you've got hidden away. This seems like a very poor decision. I don't feed my women! So you admit you've got it in larder then? How else you make it through winter? Enough! Out! I am a godly man! You stick, you bastard! Shut the hands off the next man who calls me bastard. A daughter fucking wildling bastard. Oh! I can't say I'm sad to see that. On the hand, I shall have your ears! <gasps> What? Oh. What a way to go. Spit your own blood on the person who killed you. Bitch. What's happening? I'm not going We have to go. Oh, Sam. So annoying. What is this place? Eric Dundarian. Using better days. I won't see them again. You lot aren't fighting in a war, you're running from it. Last I heard, you were King Joffrey's guard dog. Is being born, Clegane, a crime? Murder is a crime. I never touched the Targaryen maids. You want to cut my throat? Get on with it! But don't call me murderer. Pretend that you're not. You murdered Micah. He was unarmed. And you rode him down. You slung him over your horse like he was some deer. You don't deny killing this boy. I was Joffrey's sworn shield before I attacked the prince. That's a lie. I hate Joffrey. You stand accused of murder. But no one here knows the truth of the charge. So, who will it be? You find out if your fire god really loves you, priest. Or is the little girl the bravest one here? I. She might be, but it's me you find. I was gonna say what well, we're not gonna do. We're not throwing Arya into the ring. <laughs> I will jump through that screen. Though she's down. She. Can you imagine? <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. No. No. Like she is not giving this dragon away. Done then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Valerio Muñoz, Nui, 
Jakaris. You know when she says Jakaris. I love to see it. Oh, girl. Brilliantly done. They're like. Oh shit. Like, she reminds them once in a while, like Don't fucking question me. I know like, what I'm doing. Are you done advising me? Like I've got a plan. I'm not telling you about it. You're here for moral support. Like I could do this by myself if I had to. <laughs> Go back Avis. Can I get a hell yeah? Love it. She is so impressive. The men in this show really don't do shit. Like... <laughs> Nobody has given us this type of fucking, I don't know. I don't know what word I'm looking for there. Look at her. She I is mean, a man. She is a man. I mean. These men are bitches. That's how you get an army of 8,000. Like. For that feels like a season finale ending. For like nothing. The way that that all just played out, that felt very, like... Yeah. Like, okay. Damn, girl. What did you think? I mean, she the, the women in this show are so impressive. Mm -hmm. I just love All them. of them. I mean, we... I feel like even Sansa is starting to kind of... They're all, like, weaving little webs mm -hmm. so effectively, besides Cersei, right now. Right now, she yeah. She kind of, like... But season one and season two, she obviously was, like, pulling all the strings. But mm -hmm. And Catelyn's not really doing too well, but... Catelyn's doing what she can. <laughs> Catelyn's doing what Catelyn's she can. Catelyn's a different type of woman, though. She, I don't think she, like... She's a mother. She's not, like, a do-what-I-need-to-do... She doesn't want to sit on the Iron Throne. You know no, what I mean? No, like, no, no, she doesn't yeah. care for that. She'll she just cares shit. for her kids. Yeah. So. She just wants them safe. She just wants her babies safe. Yeah. Which I get. Um... Going back to the beginning of the episode, if we just start there. Okay. Jamie getting fucked with and, like, thrown in the mud. And so, it's so difficult because I'm, like, I hated him. And it's so, I now I'm, like, it's so hard to watch. But what a testament to, like, the writing. That I they're know. able to take characters like that I and know. make you feel for them. We've said this before. Mm-hmm. We'll say it again, I'm sure. But yeah, it's like he does one nice thing for Brienne and suddenly I'm like, why are you guys being so harsh on him? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's quite enough. And same with Theon. It's like now... Yeah, ew. like I just... Stop hurting. Like, it's... It's like unnecessary. It's overkill mm -hmm. to free... For Theon, you know, to free him, mm -hmm. take him through all this thing, like, make him feel like he's safe, he confides in you, he does all this, just to bring him... Just to right be like, back. just kidding, right. I was like, one of them. The psychological torture. I mean, he he has just got nobody. Mm -hmm. Like, he's got nobody that he can trust. It's going to take every ounce of him being able to trust somebody out of him. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's got nobody. And that guy, I mean, how fucked up. He basically killed his own men. For the sport of fucking with Theon. Yeah. He just... Just for fun. Killed all his men just to fuck with Theon. Like... like it's insane. Twisted guy right there. It's insane. Um, I feel so bad for him, but... I don't know. I, I mean... I don't know what else there is to say. I just feel horrible for him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we got Varys' story, finally... Which was so interesting. And then the sorcerer in the box. like Getting loved, his revenge. Love that for and him. And you could tell the sorcerer knew exactly who that he's was. Like, like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. So, if, like, he's so fucked right now. Yeah, and good for Varys getting that revenge. He was basically telling Tyrion, like, I know you want to kill your sister, but in my Wait experience, 
patience is the way to do like, it. Like, look at... Look at what I just got from Amazon. Look at this <laughs> delivery that just came for me. Yeah. I'm having a great day. I so got far. free shipping. <laughs> it was express. I'm loving my life. Um, yeah, I love that for him. What the hell did Podrick do to these ladies? <laughs> Like, I'm so shook by them. They keep bringing it up. You started the episode kind of being like, I feel like he just spoke to them. And then after seeing Roz and Varys, you're like, no, he definitely fucked them. Like, what did he do to them? I mean, I would love to know. (laughs) And it's like, what purpose is this serving in the story? I'm like, what's... Because Podrick... I don't... I don't know. I'm confused by all (laughs) of it. It's just amazing. That's what the purpose it's serving. It's amazing. They're just like giving us that just as a little like treat. Yes, it's a treat. Because we think it's funny. Like it's crazy. (laughs) Um, This really is like the season of Marjorie, I feel. (laughs) So far. Like Joffrey's adoring fans. Her like making a little alliance with Sansa. Like I'm just... This episode, she just is continuing to kill it getting people to like genuinely like her and Mm -hmm. trust her she doesn't come at it like cersei with like subtle threats or anything she's just very open and straightforward she's like i want you to have what you want and i'm gonna help give it to you because i like you Mm -hmm. and it comes off genuine you know Mm -hmm. even if it's not i don't know if it is yeah but i mean i i totally agree i just feel like she is so perfect at like the way she maneuvers through those conversations you and trust her like you trust her and her grandmother too is like you can see where marjorie gets it from yeah because her grandmother is just like marjorie times 10 yeah they both seem like they're just shooting straight from the hip like her whole conversation lying. with vera she was just like yeah i will spy with you all yeah, day she's like they're both so good at it um i wrote theon's speech as a sad thing and then directly blow it are you fucking kidding me theon again (laughs) like i just it was we talked about it already but that was my note on that Mm -hmm. i was so sad for him yeah i just no it's like nobody deserves that and he just he's like so useless and and spineless and he's not in a position uh, to be a threat to anyone no why are we doing this to him and he just confessed he's given you everything that he has yeah he's not gonna do anything else like he can't do anything else like just uh just i i felt bad like when you when i saw the like cross thing i was just like god like my heart just hurts for him Mm -hmm. can you imagine like opening up that door and seeing that and just being like i just went in a circle I just went in a circle. Like, you're just like, kill me. Yeah. Like, that's the point where... Because you think about, like... I think about when people talk about, like, oh, you're going to beg for death. Like, that line. That's, that's, a, that's a scenario. I'm like, I can't imagine ever being to a point where I would rather die. But, like, if I walked back in and saw that, I really would be like, just kill me. Like, I can't... I can't do... I don't want to do this. Right. You know? And mm-hmm. same with Jamie, I guess. Like, just... I. It's but I loved Brienne's alive. pep talk with him kind of being like... You get a real taste of what it's like to be a person in this world and lose something important to yeah. you and you're just going to sit here and give up. Like, yeah. everybody in this show this. is losing things. We've all Left and right. You need to get up. Mm-hmm. Like, get up, Jamie. <laughs> like, yeah. She's like, how do you think I ended up mm-hmm. here alone? Like, imagine all the shit she's been through. Yeah. She's like, you're going to make it. Yeah. Like, keep eating, you know. Um... Marjorie and Sansa's conversation, we already talked about that. Craster and Lord Commander being killed. Such a juxtaposition, right? Because like, they died in the same way by the same hand. It was like... Oh, on one man. hand, you're like, fuck yeah, Craster's dead. I know, I'm so excited for a second. And then they killed the Lord Commander, and I'm like... And he was such a good man. Like, he didn't deserve to die no. betrayed by his own brothers. Like, he, did. he lived for that yeah. watch. He served honorably and tried to protect all of them. Mm-hmm. He, like, had all these avenues. He allied with Craster, who's, like, the worst person, to get them food to keep so them that safe, they could survive. Sheltered and fed and somewhat. They fucking killed him. I loved that he spat his blood. In, all of Arast's face. Yeah, in his face. Rast. It's such an like evil name, Rast. <laughs> That's what we call a, a blood allergy test. A Rast. Mm-hmm. A Rast test. He's a blood allergy test. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I just wrote like real huge at the bottom, Daenerys with a heart because you jeez. Is it not the season of I females? I love it. I love it. Like they are just killing it. The men are like they. They're so, they're so, like, 
I'm gonna fight my way to the top and the women are like you don't have to do yeah that. the women are like we use what we have which we is have a plan our we have our, a brain yeah our wits and yeah. our knowledge and, and it works so much better mm-hmm. like Marjorie and Daenerys are both just shooting to the top like <laughs> right. so quick she just walked out of that thing with 8,000 men her dragons right. are flying and overhead it took her what days like two days yeah like no time and Marjorie too she just got to King's Landing and she's like already got adoring fans, she's the most popular girl people cheering like she it takes them no time because they use their brains and, and they like, are genuinely people you want to follow yeah they don't like f- make they don't strike fear into their subjects they make people want to they follow make people them, inspire the yeah they yeah. inspire people because now you don't you know you're not going to deal with deserters you're not going to deal with betrayal these people want you to win mm-hmm. literally love it Love it. Love well, that episode. I love that you love that episode. I think it's a really good episode too. It's yeah. just such an impactful episode and there's so much going on. A lot of great action scenes in that episode. Well, and the fact that this is essentially still the rising action of the season. We're still in the first half of the season. Yeah, yeah we like, haven't even hit the climax yet. <laughs> yeah, it's, so. it's moving along this season. Is. I love it. It's a good season. All right. Well, delivering. It is delivering. It is delivering. All right. Well, if you guys liked this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date on Addie's journey through Thrones. We are chugging away through season three, almost halfway there. Um, We hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm going to eat a burger now. I thought you were eating sushi. I changed my mind.